Central Florida boasts of several attractions that feature exotic animals, but perhaps none duplicates a true safari experience better than this small ranch in Lakeland. Less than an hour's drive from downtown Orlando, Safari Wilderness Ranch is the brainchild of Charles Salisbury. I worked in zoos in England, Australia, and this country for about 35 years. Zoos do a terrific job of educating a lot of people, and they do it where people live, which is in cities. But for herd animals especially, it's a compromise. There, it, there's not enough room for herd animals. Part of my job, I would take people on safaris to oh, okay. Africa. And in going to Africa, I realized that the Africans are light years ahead of us in terms of how they manage captive animals. Safari Wilderness Ranch is an attempt to replicate that African experience. What you guys are seeing here, now look at these, this looks like Jurassic Park, doesn't it? Look at those <laughs> ostrich come to us. That is a living dinosaur. That is a close. This has been a very fun project, and it's been pretty much based on taking an old man of cattle farm and then getting rid of the cattle and introducing species that do well in these ecotypes that we have here. You go out in with the animals, and the animals are not in individual areas, they're in amongst each other, like you would see in nature. In a big vista, you'll see 30 species, and you drive around for a couple of hours, and it's a really much more realistic kind of invigorating educational fun thing than you can get going into an inner city zoo. What you're seeing here is something called flight distance. If you get too close to these guys they move off and you'll never see this in a zoo because there's just not enough room. Look at that. Salisbury believes that when guests experience not just the sights and sounds of animals but the smell and feel they take home more than memories. When you go out and you feed a water buffalo and it slobbers all over your hand, it just burns into your brain, especially if you're a little kid. My favorite part was the water buffalo because I've never seen those. I just love feeding animals. It's my favorite thing to do. The lemurs that you go in with here and interact with are ring-tailed lemurs. We feed them grapes and they will put their little hands out and grab your hand and to pull the grape into their mouth. And when they do this, it feels like a little human baby grabbing your hand. And so that is another emotional experience which you commit to memory. <laughs> so this is a, a different way of going on safari. You can go by camelback and camels have been taking people on their backs for about 6,000 years and they really actually enjoy this as part of their day. When you come out on safari and you have a nature experience like this, this you're recharged and you go back okay. and do whatever you are doing better, I think. I did not expect that we would be able to touch these animals and feed them. Usually you think of a safari wilderness experience and you just think that you're just driving through. I love animals, so it was really cool to get to see some from Africa and Asia and actually get to touch and pet them. And the camel ride was super fun. And ultimately, this place is as much about the animals as it is about people. Animals need homes and we've been taking away animals' homes for a very long time. I just hope that a safari experience like this can inspire people to do whatever they choose to do in a sort of more thoughtful way and to, and to kind of consider animals when they're thinking about things. See full episodes of One Central Florida the first Thursday of each month at 8 p.m.